the wolf fish. That thing is wild looking. They're cuddling. <laughs> Whoa! Big scoop. Big scoop. <laughs> I love it. So a few videos ago, I showed you guys this yeah. thing right here. Let me let me pick this thing up. This thing right here that I picked up from a store card Marshall, and I don't really know what I want to do with it. So I figured, why not strap on the Fish Cave merch, get in the car, and go down there and bring this thing in and get inspired in store. Let's hit the road. All right. Here we go, cars passing by, nice day. That's what I'm talking about. Now we're in focus. Now we're in focus. Miss UA waiting for my arrival. Man, listen to that mumble rap we got going on. Look, they didn't even wait for me. Didn't even wait for me. Mm -hmm. I wanted to get I wanted to get inspired. You wanted to get in, inspired in store. So I brought it here. So you put fish in there? Something that's alive. Something that's alive. Okay. At first I was like, what are we drinking? Like, oh, <laughs> I was not aware of What's in there? What's spice? Tea, and lemonade. I know. I kept looking at the box. I'm like, all right, there's tea on the front, but there's lemonade on the side. That's pretty big, though. And. Three gallons. Two gallons. I was thinking like some black. Yeah. Sand with like some really tall plants and like a piece of dragonstone on the front. That would be cool. <laughs> that little piece of dragonstone that you wanted but you couldn't figure out what you wanted it for. <coughs> yeah. Oh, like this piece right here would be. Yeah, that would be cool. Perfect. Awesome dragonstones. Those peacocks. I know those are the nice ones. Oh, fire. Look at that OB. Ooh. That's nice. Oh, these Java ferns would look cool too. Because they're so tall. Do you know what you're going to put in there? In the jar? Mm -hmm. No. Those would look really cool though. A couple of them, like maybe two. Yeah, Because they'll continue growing. Look at all these bad boys right here. Oh, I like these. What are these? What kind of plants are these? Guys, I like the leaves on them. They're really nice. Look at that. Electric Blue Jack Dempsey. Erica, what are these? These plants. Those are really cool. Moss balls. That would probably look pretty cool in there too. Red Terror. Got some nice Africans in here. Oh my goodness. Look at this, guys. The wolf fish. That thing is wild looking. Baby Jack Dempsey's. It is? Yep. Oh. Little baby red belly Pacus. Look at the baby Pablos. Baby Pablos. Whoa! Whoa! Look at the gar. The Florida gar. That's sick. <coughs> Look at this, guys. What's going on right here? Look at this Royal Rumble wrestling match. Look at this wrestling match we have going on. Or they're just cuddling. I'm not really sure what's going on here. They're cuddling. <laughs> Mating ritual. Look at this beauty, guys. Even if you're not into salt water, you gotta love this. This is an old tank right here. A very old tank. Oh my god. Banjo catfish? That is insane. All oh, these koi are pretty cool looking. Got blue on it. Nice. I think we're gonna oh, go. Which oh, piece yeah. of dragonstone, hun, do you think for that little jar? Something small, like the down there in the bottom. I just love the shape of that. That's yeah. sick. Too big for it. Yeah, something it is. Small. Even that, something small, so it's not taking up space. This one has really nice color, though. Whoa! That's pretty cool, huh? You want to hang that in your room? <laughs> All right. I am ready. Ready? Yeah. All right. All right, guys. So we are back. We got Minnie Unconventional here, who's gonna help us set this thing up. 
You got the dragon stone, and there's the sand. Okay, so Mini Unconventional has the supplies. Here is the actual container. Guys, this thing is seven and a half liters, which equals out to two gallons of water. Um, these things are pretty cool. They're pretty freaking cool. I had to do some, some looking for this. I had to do some looking. So we're gonna get this thing put together. Uh, it's actually late at night, the night before we're leaving out tomorrow morning uh, to go to Dallas, Texas. So when you see this, we will already be in Dallas, Texas. So we're spending some time with little man here before me and uh, me and Miss UA head out and let's get this thing set up. Cool, we just got some regular black aquarium Whoa. sand here guys. But we are gonna be planning this thing out. So here Whoa. it is guys, this is actually not metal, the spout. It's just uh, chrome painted on the front and it's plastic on, bless you. Um, plastic on the inside, which is perfect. We're not gonna have any rust issues. So make sure you're definitely checking that out. Water changes are gonna be a breeze. So it's gonna be super, super awesome. You ready to put some sand in? Yeah. All right, scoop some sand out with this. Scoop it out with this. Okay. There you go. And then pour it right in here. Okay. Look at that, man. You're a pro, bud. Good job. Big scoops in there, big scoops. Whoa. Yeah, you're really getting down there. Good one, that's a nice scoop. So guys, bring you in close so you can see what little man's doing here. Here's our jar. This is a pretty cool jar. It has pretty good visibility. You know, visibility is not perfect, but just the, the fact of having a cool jar aquarium is what makes this special. All right, now let's get this in here. Man, this sand is super clean, guys. Normally I would wash, I wash all my aquarium sands, um, but this one, since it's gonna be getting water changes prior to us doing everything, all the soot and stuff that comes to the top of the water is gonna come out through uh, water changes. So I'm not worried about it right now. But um, so far, so good on this seal. I don't feel any wetness coming out. Now we're just gonna kinda sit here and monitor it for a minute and make sure we're good before we proceed any further. I'm gonna get the rest of that water in there. Make sure you're right over top. Oh, here, you don't gotta shake it, but it'll come <laughs> I love it. Oh my goodness. That is very big. Is it? Yeah. Is it looking good? Yeah. Is it looking good to you so far? Yeah. Guys, you can see that sand. Very clean sand right out of the bag. I mean, look right through there. Just a little bit of debris on the top. We can take a net and scoop that right off, but I am digging this. That's not white you're seeing in there. That's just air bubbles on the uh, surface of the substrate. So this is looking sick, really sick. <laughs> if you're seeing this and you've never had fish before, this is a sponge filter. They're very cheap, they're very efficient. And uh, in a setting like this is gonna work great because it's not gonna take up a lot of space and it's gonna be easy to disguise with plants. So do you wanna put this in? Yeah. You gotta put it in really light. All right, there we go. So we have our sponge positioned back here which is perfect we're going to be able to so easily cover this with plants we're going to be able to put plants on either side have that um dragon stone in there it's going to be super cool are you ready to put the dragon stone in you got to be very careful there you go let's let's lower it down wow check that out let's get this filled up and get everything um put in place and get this pump fired up and we even have a control valve right here which is going to be super sick i've selected this spot obviously until we move and that's going to get put somewhere else but this is literally when you come through my entryway, boom, right here. What's good about this spot too is in the morning when these are open, we get that nice ambient sunlight that'll come right through here and uh, help grow those plants naturally. So that'll be sick. All right, guys, even though we're not using fake plants in here, I'm gonna put some of these green plastic plants in here to give you an idea of kind of what this thing is gonna look like when we get back and this thing is cycled and ready to go and we can put live plants in here. As I got my phone light up here up top, just to give you an idea of what it's gonna look like too when the lights are on this thing. I'm probably gonna have to fabricate a light and actually stick a light up here under this cabinet. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do in that aspect yet. This is definitely <laughs> a little big for this jar, I would say. A little, a lot big. I'm glad I put these plastic plants in here to just kind of give you an idea. And with the bend of that glass, just gives everything such a cool effect. One of the things we can do is even have the grass coming out of the top, uh, which might open up some ideas for more plants. Maybe go lidless with a nice pile of lush plants growing right out of the top. I don't know, I'm loving it, but I love that dragon stone right there in the middle. That is what that's called in case you're wondering, but it's super, super cool. I am stoked for this thing to cycle, to get back so we can get fish in it. I am like really, really excited for this one, guys. 
Whew. It's not often I pull up a chair and sit down in front of my project, but here it is, guys. Again, this sweet jar aquarium is gonna go through many more evolutions. Leave your comments down below. What do you think would be a super cool livestock? Even give me some plant suggestions. Um, like I said, I'm not well versed in plants, but I'm also not completely naive about plants. I've grown them in the past. I've just never been a big plant person, but I think for this setup here, especially if we have that dragon stone in the middle, I think plants would look epic in here. I was either thinking shrimp in this um, or some small fish. I don't know, some very small fish. That way we can have a little bit of activity in there. Definitely let me know what you think. I'm super excited, guys. Any of you can make this. This is super cheap. It can fit anybody's budget. And it's a cool little DIY that you can do yourself. Do with your kids. Do with your family. It's so awesome. So, guys, your boy's got to get some sleep. Miss you guys. Got to get some sleep. We got to fly out tomorrow to Dallas, Texas. I hope I see some of you guys at Aquashella. I think I'm going to stop by on Sunday. Um, so, that'll be super cool. I appreciate every single one of you guys watching. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to get this thing fired up. And then next time you see it, we'll be going to the store to get fish.